I have two digital caliper tricks I wanted to show you today. The first one is if we need to measure the distance between two holes. Uh, this is really fast and really simple, and I think everybody with a set of digital calipers should know about it. We simply measure the ID of one of the holes and zero our instrument. And then we measure the maximum distance between the two holes, and that's our center line distance, one inch 350. Uh, what we're doing is, when we zero the caliper, we're effectively taking that max distance and subtracting half a hole width and half a hole width. And when we go to measure our max distance, then with our, our zeroed tool, we're, we're really then seeing the center line without having to do any math. So um, this is really nice on a dimension like this one, one inch 350, because it's so close to a nominal inch and three eighths. If we were to measure that with a scale, some carelessness or an aging set of eyes might just assume that that is inch and three eighths. And whatever we built to bolt onto that probably wouldn't fit. This is not limited to holes, also works on slots. So same concept, measure the width of one of the features, zero your instruments, and then measure the furthest point to furthest point, and that's your center line distance. This is real handy if you are making an adapter for a CNC mill and you don't know the T-slot spacing. So I use that one occasionally. And then finally, if you have a hole with a counterbore or like a reamed step and you need to know that depth, uh, sometimes the, the depth feature on a pair of calipers can be a little unreliable. Perhaps the diameter difference between the two holes is too small and you can't reliably catch, or the drill bit angle causes it to slip off, or maybe it's just too big for the part you're trying to measure. So what we do in that scenario is install a gauge pin until it bottoms out, and then we figure out how much of it is sticking out of the part, and knowing the length of the pin, we can determine how much of it is in the part. We could do this all, of course, without math, by taking our go pen and our part. We zero the instrument on the length of the go pen, install it into the part, making sure it bottoms out in the counterbore, and then we simply measure how much is sticking out above the part, and that is the counterbore depth. So. I use these two tricks quite often with my calipers. I find them very handy, and I hope you get some utility out of them. Thank you for watching.